Hare Krishna everyone. On the upcoming auspicious day of Vijay Dashmi, let us hear, read and recite a beautiful prayer glorifying Lord Sri Ramachandra. And this glorification is coming directly from the transcendental heart of Lord Ramachandra's dearest and greatest devotee, Hanuman ji. These prayers appear in Srimad Bhagavatam in Canto 5, The Creative Impetus. Chapter 19, A Description of the Island of Jambudweep. This chapter describes the glories of Bharat Varsha and it also describes how Lord Ramachandra is being worshipped in the tract of land known as Kim Purusha Varsha. The inhabitants of Kim Purusha Varsha are fortunate because they worship Lord Ramachandra with his faithful servant Hanuman. Lord Ramachandra exemplifies an incarnation of Godhead who descends for the mission of Paritranaya Sadhu Nam Vinashaya Chadushkritam, protecting the devotees and destroying the miscreants. Lord Ramachandra exhibits the actual purpose of an incarnation of the Supreme Personality of Godhead and the devotees take the opportunity to offer loving transcendental service unto Him. One should surrender fully to the Lord, forgetting one's so-called material happiness, opulence and education, which are not at all useful for pleasing the Lord. The Lord is pleased only by the process of surrender unto Him. So through verse 3 to 8, Hanumanji recites the following prayer. Om Namo Bhagavate Uttama Shlokaya Nama Arya Lakshana Shila Vrataya Nama Upshikshitatmana Upasita Lokaya Namaha Sadhu Vada Nikashanaya Namo Brahmanya Devaya Mahapurushaya Maharajaya Nama Iti Yatad Vishudhanu Bhavamatra Mekam Swate Jasadhvasta Guna Vyavastham Pratyak Prashantam Sudhiyo Palambhanam Hyana Marupam Nirham Prapadye Martya Vataras Tviha Martya Shikshanam Raksho vadhaye vanake valam vibhoho Kuto anyatha syad ramataha swa atmanaha Sita kritani vyasanani shwarasya Navaisa atma atma vatam so hrittamaha Saktas trilokyam bhagavan vasudevaha Nastri Kritam Kashmalam Mashnuvita Nalakshmanam Chapi Vihatu Marhati Najan Manunam Mahatona Saubhagam Navang Nabudhir Nakritis Tosha Hetuhu Tayriad Visrishtan Apinova Naukasash Chakar Sakhe Batalakshmana Grajaha Suro Asuro Vapyatha Vanaro Naraha Sarvat Manayaha Sukritagyam Muttamam Bhajetaramam Manuja Kritim Harim Ya Uttaran Anayat Kosalan Devamiti now let us understand these prayers by reading through the translations given by His Divine Grace A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada. Srila Prabhupada ki jai. Canto 5, Chapter 19, Text 3 Hanumanji says, Let me please your Lordship by chanting the Bija Mantra Omkara. I wish to offer my respectful obeisances unto the Personality of Godhead, who is the best among the most highly elevated personalities. 
Your lordship is the reservoir of all the good qualities of Aryans, people who are advanced. Your character and behavior are always consistent and you always control your senses and mind. Acting just like an ordinary human being, you exhibit exemplary character to teach others how to behave. There is a touchstone that can be used to examine the quality of gold, but you are like a touchstone that can verify all good qualities. You are worshipped by Brahmanas who are the foremost of all devotees. You, the Supreme Person, are the King of Kings and therefore I offer my respectful obeisances unto you. Text 4 The Lord whose pure form, Satchidananda Vigraha, is uncontaminated by the modes of material nature can be perceived by pure consciousness. In the Vedanta, he is described as being one without a second. Because of his spiritual potency, he is untouched by the contamination of material nature. And because he is not subjected to material vision, he is known as transcendental. He has no material activities, nor has he a material form or name. Only in pure consciousness, Krishna consciousness, can one perceive the transcendental form of the Lord. Let us be firmly fixed at the lotus feet of Lord Ramachandra and let us offer our respectful obeisances unto those transcendental lotus feet. Text 5 It was ordained that Ravana, chief of the Rakshasas, could not be killed by anyone but a man. And for this reason, Lord Ramachandra, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, appeared in the form of a human being. Lord Ramachandra's mission, however, was not only to kill Ravana, but also to teach mortal beings that material happiness centered around sex life or centered around one's wife is the cause of many miseries. He is the self-sufficient Supreme Personality of Godhead and nothing is lamentable for him. Therefore, why else could he be subjected to tribulations by the kidnapping of Mother Sita? Text 6 Since Lord Sri Ramachandra is the Supreme Personality of Godhead Vasudev, he is not attached to anything in this material world. He is the most beloved super soul of all self-realized souls and he is their very intimate friend. He is full of all opulences. Therefore, he could not possibly have suffered because of separation from his wife. Nor could he have given up his wife and Lakshman, his younger brother. To give up either would have been absolutely impossible. Text 7 One cannot establish a friendship with the Supreme Lord Ramachandra on the basis of material qualities such as one's birth in an aristocratic family, one's personal beauty, one's eloquence, one's sharp intelligence or one's superior race or nation. None of these qualifications is actually a prerequisite for friendship with Lord Sri Ramachandra. Otherwise, how is it possible that although we uncivilized inhabitants of the forest, now Hanumanji is talking about himself and the entire Vanar Sena. Otherwise, how is it possible that although we uncivilized inhabitants of the forest have not taken noble births, although we have no physical beauty and although we cannot speak like gentlemen, Lord Ramachandra has nevertheless accepted us as friends. Text 8 Therefore, whether one is a demigod or a demon, a man or a creature other than man, such as a beast or bird, everyone should worship Lord Ramachandra, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, 
who appears on this earth just like a human being there is no need of great austerities or penances to worship the lord for he accepts even a small service offered by his devotee thus he is satisfied and as soon as he is satisfied the devotee is successful indeed lord shri ramachandra brought all the devotees of ayodhya back home back to godhead vai kuntha hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama राम राम हरे हरे ग्रंथराज श्रीमद भागवतम की जय लॉटरी रामचंद्र विजयदशमी महोत्सव की जय लॉटरी रामचंद्र की जय इज ग्रेटेस्ट एंड डियरेस्ट डिवोटी हनुमान जी की जय शिल प्रभुपाद की जय हरे कृष्णा